Hola. Happy Saturday. Piali. <laughs> so, my roommate has this book that is called Learn Nahuatl, Language of the Aztecs and Modern Nahuatl. So, I was like, ooh, it'd be cool to share the book and um, learn some more Nahuatl and share that process with people. So, this is another little series on my IGTV that I am starting. And um, check out this cool filter, little butterfly lashes, and um, I don't know, some Kylie Jenner lips, I guess. Um, those are my real lips, by the way. Um, but I thought this was a really cool book and a really cool way to share and learn and um, teach about the Nahuatl language. So let me show you the book. It's called Learn Nahuatl, Language of the Aztecs and Modern Nahuas by Jan Garcia. Hi everybody, thank you for joining. We about to learn some Nahuatl. Who's down for some Nahuatl? All right, so Learn Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs and the modern Nahuas. So let's just see. The beginning of another little uh, series. <laughs> All right, so se, se, pronunciation. Se, do y'all know what se means? Who knows what se means? I'll give you a hint. Se, ome, ye, nawi. What does that sound like? Se, ome, ye, nawi. Se means one, number one. So here's some pronunciation. So the first word is Kali. Kali means house or structure or building. So, so my house, my Kali, right? Tomin, which means money. Hi, hola, thank you for joining. We're doing a little Nahuatl lesson. It's going to be a new series on my IGTV. Uh, nochi. Nochi means all. So when I say Ika nochi no yolo, with all my heart. Ika nochi no yolo, with all my heart. Papalot, which is butterfly. There's a canto that goes, We, we, papalot. We, we, papalot. Palot. And that is a canto for the butterfly. Tomin, again, money. Cacahuat, peanut. So it's cool to see how certain words uh, are derived directly from Nahuatl. So this one, cacahuat, is peanut. Cacahuat, cacahuate, right? Sounds like cacahuate. Cacahuat. Kena means yes. Kena. Kena, or I've also heard Kema. Remember, this is modern Nahuatl, and there's different um, different forms of the word. So I've heard Kema, and right here it says Kena, yes. Tequit. Tequit means to work. Tequit. Tequit, or Tequit. Tequit, probably. I think it's Tequit, to work. Comit, a clay jug. A comit. So that reminds me of popos comit, which is a, um, the salmador that we burn incense in. Popos comit. Comit, clay jug. San, just. Sintli means corn, kind of like teo sintli. Sintli, corn. Se, remember I was asking what does se mean? Se is one. Number one, Kwawi, tree, Kwawi. Yayawik, black, the colors. Shochi, that's me, Shochi, flower. So a lot of people have changed the pronunciation of Shochi and say Xochil. 
so i think um it's important to know the pronunciation of these nahuatl sounds so whenever you see an x the x actually sounds like sh so xochil is actually xochil hi moni moni just joined hi dani Shochi. so instead of xochil it's xochi and um i think that just happens with you know the um the fusing of languages because spanish is largely spoken due to colonization but that's why it's important to really preserve all of these sounds in the language right so even though people say xochil you can start saying xochi so if if you're down, you can start calling me Xochi instead of Sochi. I'm okay with either one. Xochi. But when I hear people say Xochi, it makes my heart happy. Tsopilok. Vulture. What does that sound like? Tsopilok. Sounds like sopilote, right? So a lot of these words Spanish took from. Why? Because they didn't have these animals or these words in the Spanish language. So... Now what actually influenced a lot of Spanish words? So sopilot, which is actually like a sopilote, right? Or sopilote is actually sopilot. Oh <laughs> Is this it? Oh no. This is a cool book by the way. Sopilot. Way which means big. Remember I was saying way papalot? So big can also mean like, um, I see it kind of like great, like when you have a great love or a great respect, a deep respect, like big, right? So big in a very deep sense, way. No wow, my water. Neuctli, honey. Neuctli. Oh, I love that one. Neuctli, honey. And at, water. At. Atlinancin. Pure water. Agua venerable. Atlinancin. So let's go through the words again. Cali, house. Tomin, money. Nochi, all. Oh. Ika nochi no yolo, with all my heart. Papalot, butterfly. Way papalot, grand, great butterfly that is very, I, that I love and respect deeply. Way papalot. Tomin, money again. Cacahuat, peanut, which is also used for cacao. Cacahuat, peanut. Kena or kema. Yes. Amo is no. Quema or quena. Yes. And amo is no. Teki. Work. Comi. Clay jug. Like, a, like one of those uh, vessels made of barro, right? A clay jug. Kind of like that. Comi. A clay jug. Either one of these could be a comi. Or a popos comi. Where you burn your fire and your copal, poposhkomi. Where you burn your incense. San, just. Sintli, corn. Se, one. Kwawi, tree. Yayawik, black. Shochi, flower. So remember, anytime you see that X, it's actually an SH sound. So it's not Xochil. It's shochi. You see the X there? And it has a sound as SH. Shochi. Flower. Sopilot. Vulture. Sopilot. Kind of like sopilote. Sopilot. Vulture. Way. Big. No wow. My water. Neutli. Honey. And at. Water. All right, y'all. I hope you liked this now what lesson for today hopefully those are um a good little start if this is your first time 
uh, learning about Nahuatl or hearing the language. I encourage you to keep learning, to keep reading, um, to keep looking into the different indigenous languages um, that, um, that run in your family and your culture. There's so many indigenous languages all over Mexico. Spanish is not our native language. Spanish is from Europe. It's from Spain. And we need to know that. And it's important because we need to learn and preserve our indigenous languages. Um, so now what is just one, it's very widely spoken, but it's just one language. There's also um, Purepecha from Michoacan, uh, Mixteco, Zapotec. Um, there's so many. There's so many languages all over Mexico. Um, there's also, for example, even in different um, different parts of the Americas, you know, I think in uh, Peru, there's Quechua, no, Quiche, Quechua, Quiche, in El Salvador, you know, there's Mayan, Maya, Mayalenka, different languages. Um, so keep learning, keep researching, keep digging. And the more we learn, the more we can connect with our ancestors, and the more we can continue to grow our power, right? Because this sacred, precious knowledge is what makes us so powerful. When we know where we come from, nobody can lead us astray, right? Mm, thank you all very much for joining. And Oh, how do you say goodbye? I don't even know how to say goodbye. I know Piyali is hello. Um, I'll say Tlaso Kamati. Gracias. And then that's my homework. And that's your homework. How do you say goodbye? So, Tlaso Kamati. Thank you.